Alright guys, M Tech Guy here. You can see we're sat in the back of the M5 because today we're going to be taking a look at what it takes to care for and look after your merino leather. Now before we go any further, we need to understand how merino leather differs from other leathers in the BMW range. Now merino leather is the top of the list, top of the range, and it's a real rich, premium, fine leather. Now how merino leather differs from others in the range is that this is dyed with natural dyes and it doesn't have any sealer and it's all natural grain structure as well. So some of the other leathers that BMW do, they have like a stamped grain structure which will look all uniform throughout the car. So with the merino you might see some differences from panel to panel but it's all natural grain structure, uh, natural dyes, no sealer, no none of that sort of clear coat protective coating on it which gives it a real sort of soft supple feel it's beautiful beautiful leather now if you just bought yourself a used bmw and it came with the merino leather a bit like myself here with the m5 and you're pretty lucky you're pretty lucky because it's a beautiful leather and same again if you've just bought yourself a brand new bmw and you've ticked that options box for the merino leather and i'm sure you paid quite a bit extra for it um pretty lucky you know it's good choice perfect choice but with owning a car with the merino leather comes with that the responsibility that it does take a bit of extra care to look after it now we want to keep it clean and we want to keep it real nice and supple looked after it's not like the other leathers that BMW do with with that sealer where it's sort of easy to clean and hard wearing uh, so it just takes a bit of extra care so we're going to take a look at that now okay so when it comes to looking after your merino leather we're going to look at doing two things now the first thing is we want to get the leather nice and clean before we do anything else now over time we get dust and dirt all stuck in the seams of the leather here it just finds its way in there and what can happen over time is it ends up a bit like sandpaper you know real real abrasive so people getting in and out of the car all the time it can actually start cutting away at the leather and the stitching and you'll often see on older cars how the leathers started to split you know started to come apart so it's important that we get all that dirt out of there and then the other thing is with people just sitting on the seats over time you're going to get a bit of muck and dirt on the actual face of the leather itself but also the oils in people's skins they're going to find the way into the leather there and it can be quite detrimental to it so what we want to do is also give this a clean and get all the muck and all the oils out of this grain structure we want to get all of that out so it's all nice and clean all the grain structures nice and clean and all the seams before we go any further okay and secondly once we've got the leather all nice and clean what we want to do is we want to feed the leather so we want to add a bit of moisturization to it to keep it feeling nice and soft and supple and at the same time the product that we're going to use will give it a bit of uv protection as well because that's the other thing apart from the muck and the dirt and the oils that are in the leather one of the biggest things that will kill your leather over the time what will degrade it is the uv rays from the sun so what we're going to do is give that a bit of protection also so the product we're going to use it'll give it the moisturization and then a bit of uv protection a bit like sunscreen on your skin so we're going to clean it feed it and then that's going to give it that protection also okay so let's take a look at the products we're going to use today to get that leather clean and fed now i've owned many cars over the years with the leather interiors and these are my two favorite products i'm not saying there aren't other good products out there on the market and i'm not affiliated with either of these manufacturers either but just from experience i've found that i get the best results with these and they're available on the shelf so you're not going to go through a, a distributor or anything like that now with the merino leather especially because it hasn't got that protective coating on it we want to use a cleaner that's aggressive enough that it's going to pull all the muck and the dirt out you know give it a proper clean but not too aggressive that it's going to start really attacking the leather or drying it out too much you know too soapy so what i've found is a good sort of balance between the two is this Meguiar's gold class leather and vinyl cleaner that's what i normally go for nowadays does a good job i've had good results with that and then moving on to the leather conditioner now i've tried different ones over the years like i say but what I normally go for now is the BMW branded uh, leather care leather care set. Now this, um, let's take a look. So it's a bit of a kit this one. So you get your leather care, the product there itself, the cream. Now this is great because I find that it really soaks into the leather there. Gives it a real good feed, really moisturises the leather. And then on top of that it gives it that UV protection also. It's great stuff. And I, I've had really, really good results with this stuff. And compared to other leather conditioners that you can sort of get off the shelf, I find this is by far the best. 
It's not a bad price either, but you do have to go to the dealer for it. And it also comes uh, with these daft little sponges to apply it and then there's like paper towels to to remove it but what i've found is these are a bit too abrasive but on the merino especially you might get away with it on the other leathers that bmw do but um i just leave them in the box and what i normally use is a microfiber so use a microfiber to apply the leather conditioner and then same again to wipe it off so we'll take a look at all that now okay so before we do anything we want to get all that loose muck dirt and dust off the seat before we go any further so we'll vacuum that up first Okay, we'll give the cleaning products a good shape before we're ready to apply it. Now when we do apply it to the leather, we don't want to put so much on there that it's going to saturate the leather because that'll end up drying it out and it'll just soak in too much. You want just enough that it just sits on the surface there, just enough to lift that dirt out. And then we'll just massage it in gently with the microfiber, but we're not going to rub aggressively because it can lift the colour out if you're not careful. So just enough just to wipe that muck and dirt off without letting it just saturate right into the leather. Okay, so next we're ready to apply the leather conditioner. So we'll give that a good shake. So we're just gonna pour some of this onto the microfiber and just gently massage it into the leather. Spread it around a bit. Get it right into the seams there so you've got no dry sections of the leather when you finish you want to make sure that you're moisturizing the whole lot i'll go through and do the rest of it on this section of the seat Now as you can see with it being merino leather and not like the other types of leather BMW do with that sealer on it without that protective clear coating on it, it's really soaked up that conditioner, really soaked it in, it's given it a real nice moisturised feel. Now if it's still feeling not 100% feel free to go through and do it again and then once you've done that even though it's soaked the majority of it up you just want to give it a gentle wipe over with a clean microfiber towel just to get rid of any excess that might be sitting on the top there just to even it all out. And again, the same as when you're applying the leather conditioner, you don't want to be really pushing it in and really aggressively rubbing that leather because it can drag the color out and even damage the surface a wee bit. So it's just, a, like I say, a gentle wipe over, just getting rid of the excess. And the same when you're applying it, you just want to be massaging it and gently to get the care into the leather, but you're not forcing it in there and abrasively rubbing away at the leather. 
Okay, so it is important that you just concentrate on sort of one area at a time. Don't try and go through and clean all the leather throughout the whole car and then come through and dry it all and then try and condition it all. Just do one area at a time. And when you have put the cleaner on there, make sure that you sort of wipe it off so you're not letting it get in there and saturate too much. So you're just enough to clean it and then give it that wipe off as soon as you can and then come through and put your conditioner in and then wipe off the excess and then move on to the next section. Go through the car like that. Okay, easy as that. So now we've cleaned it and then we've conditioned it to maintain that nice, soft, supple feeling. And it's also given it that UV protective coating so the sun's not gonna start deteriorating it straight away. And how often you clean and condition your merino leather will all depend on how you use the car. You know, how often you use it, how many passengers you have in the vehicle and whatnot. So what I normally find is just giving it a clean once every six months is enough for me. But I do condition it once every three months just to maintain that suppleness and keep up with that UV coating because the sun can be pretty harsh here in New Zealand. And if you daily drive your car and it's only you predominantly in the car, then it is definitely worth looking at putting that conditioner on the driver's seat, just the driver's seat alone, or maybe once every month. And it will just upkeep with that uh, maintenance of the UV protection and it'll keep it nice and supple. Okay, so there we have it. Now, if you are one of them lucky BMW owners that you do have the merino leather in your car, it does take that little bit of extra looking after, but it's certainly worth it. As long as you keep on top of it, it will maintain that real premium, luxurious feel to the leather. All right, if you found the video useful and interesting, don't forget to give it a like and make sure you subscribe for more BMW videos. I'm MTech Guy. Thanks for watching.